Hello everyone, welcome to Self Love You. I am Jenna Ryan and this is another video for you guys. Today I am sitting here in my gym, my home gym. We are on quarantine right now. And here I am just uh, right here, standing here, getting ready to do this video for you guys. I'm so glad that you have joined me, my self lovies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so what did I wanna talk about today? Today I wanted to talk to you about the sweet, mean cycle of the narcissist. This is very important because a lot of my followers are um, addicted in, in addictive relationships with narcissists, with other people, addicted to people. You have a love addiction. And the reason that you have a love addiction is because of something that the narcissist does and that you're receptive to. And that is the sweet, mean cycle. The sweet mean cycle of the narcissist will keep you in their trenches, keep you coming back for that abuse for years and years and years. And you may not even know that it's happening. You just know that every once in a while, this person that you're totally in love with becomes the biggest, the sweetest person in the whole world, okay? The sweetest person. So I'm just gonna go like this, okay? because I'm trying to show y'all how difficult this is. Okay, so maybe that'll work. Let's try that. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy, right? Isn't that pretty crazy? So the person just becomes the sweetest thing in the whole world. You feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna do this for long. You feel like, oh my gosh, this person is exactly everything I've ever wanted. I am so happy with this person. This person has the look. This person has the job. This person has a nice car. This person is, you know, has a great personality. This person, you know, has these problems that I can help them with. This person is everything to me. And they're, and they're so sweet and they're doing everything, everything that I want. They're doing everything I've always wanted in someone, another person to do for me in a relationship. And that is what is called the sweet cycle. It's also called, it can also be considered the love bombing phase, where they're love bombing, where they're, you know, giving you what you want. They have this phase because this is what keeps you hooked. If they were evil all of the time, then you would easily or more easily be able to get out of their trap. But if they're nice to you sometimes, super duper nice to you, then they're gonna keep you around for as long as they need to, to in order to gain narcissistic supply from you. It is the sweet mean cycle. It is the process of manipulation and control using moments of sweetness, moments of happiness, moments of good news, moments of pleasure, moments of adulation when you feel a mess and you feel like they're just giving you everything. And then, boom, the switch is hit and then you begin to get punished. Then you begin to get slapped. Then you begin to get all of the wrath of the narcissist, all the projections of how they feel about themselves. They begin to devalue you and you begin to take on this, you, you, you soak it in like a sponge and they, they go from sweet to mean. They say mean things, they say rude things, they, they ignore you, they don't, answer your texts. They don't respond to you. They invalidate you. They don't, they don't care about you anymore. Whereas yesterday they were cool as the Dickens. And then today they're acting like a complete different person. And you begin to get enthralled and enmeshed in this environment with them, with them. And you begin to take it on and you begin to think something is wrong with you because they are treating you as if something's wrong with you but you're stuck, you're addicted, you're in this cycle, this sweet, mean cycle, and you can stay in it forever and ever and ever. And I see people, some of the people that I coach that are stuck in this cycle, and there is a way out of this cycle. You can be free from this cycle. You can take a step back and take a step away, and there are ways to do that, and that's what we do in my coaching program. So I'm real excited. You guys know I'm gonna have my little coaching. We're doing it. Um, it's just a little trial run. It's a Zoom call on Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I have a couple of slots left. I hope you guys can join us. Anyway, that's what we work on is, is getting, why am, I, why am I putting up with this? Why am I allowing 
this person to treat me this way. This person has given me everything I wanted. This person treats me so great. And now suddenly they've turned into a complete jerk. They've hurt my feelings. They've hurt my manhood. They've hurt my womanhood. They've hurt my my very core. They've hurt me to the core of my being. And what it is, is it causes you to go really high in endorphins and feel that serotonin and oxytocin. Those bonding hormones begin to just curse through your veins and you fall in love with them in the fantasy of who they are. And then the this, this, this switch trips. And when the switch trips, they go to the mean side. And when they go to the mean side, they're the opposite extreme. So, because they can only see you in black and white. They can only, they split you because they have an underdeveloped emotional psyche. So they split you. Meanwhile, you're along for the ride. You're along for the ride. Why are you, why are you hanging out with this person? Why are you allowing this person to come back? That is the question that I am here to help you fix is how, why are you allowing this to happen? We know the sweet mean cycle is intermittent reinforcement. That means that it's like a slot machine, okay? They're nice to you, and then one day they're mean to you. So when you're in a slot machine, you don't know if you're gonna pull the lever and you're gonna get money, and you don't know if you're gonna pull the lever and you're going to get nothing. Most of the time you lose. Most of the time you get nothing. That is the addictive process. The reason that you are addicted to this person and staying involved with them, regardless of how mean they treat you, is because they always season it with just enough to keep you hanging on. Just enough sweetness, but never will they fulfill. Never will they scratch that itch. They just keep you itching and they get just close enough where you think you're gonna get that, get that itch resolved, get that inner desire, that inner longing. You feel like you're gonna finally get what you're looking for inside and boom, they switch. Right when you think you're gonna get it, it's like right in the palm of your hands and it just slips out of your hands. Why is that? It is because you are the person, you are the only one that can heal yourself. You are the only one who can provide for yourself. And you're looking externally to another person to fulfill you in ways that only you can fulfill yourself. And also you're going to unhealthy people. You're going to people that cannot, don't have the capacity, never will be able to. Or in, it's impossible for a toxic person to fulfill your needs and to make you feel valuable. It is impossible for, for anyone to do this. So you have to make sure that you are getting away from these toxic people and that you are filling your life with people that are healthy, with people that are good to you, with people that are valuable. That's, the valuable people are not, it's not how, you know, how big their boobs are or how sexy they are or how much money they make. That is not, in a val that does not make a valuable person. A valuable person is someone who returns your phone call, who doesn't go into psycho mode, a person who doesn't, <laughs> who gives you consistency and who is dependable and reliable and who makes you feel important and special and seen and understood and heard, who makes you feel loved. That's value. And if you're considering value external things, then that's a problem. That's a problem. That's something we need to work on. And we can work on that in coaching because we're in quarantine. Right now we're in quarantine and I'm here doing coaching. So if you wanna do one-on-one -on -one coaching, I am available. Um, just email me at selfloveyouonline at gmail.com. Everybody's been asking for this and finally I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And you guys are showing up. I love it. I, I'm having coaching sessions and I'm, you know, it's incredible. And I love to, I create these little, I can't let you see this one. These little beautiful um, maps for people to get out of this patterning, to get out of this addictive pattern and to heal those parts within that need healing deep within. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing okay right now. I hope that you're staying calm and I hope that you're having faith and I hope that you are not stuck in a house with a narcissist right now through quarantine. I am Jenna Ryan. Hello. I mean, hello around the world is what I was going to say. Hello to everyone around the world. All my friends, I, you know, I think about you and I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.